My father. He's from, um, oh, he actually was born in Jamaica, but his um, parents are from Hong Kong. With this interculturalism, I always said, it's not apparent to me because it's just how life is. I, I guess my whole life, um, intercultured. Interculturalism to me means um, when two or more different cultural backgrounds being race, religion, or gender interact and work together without prejudice and truly feel the differences as a contributor to their interactions rather than a distraction. To be a BI or to be considered a BIA member, um, you have to have a own a business or a property um, along Kingsway between Boundary and Rupert. And um, we have about 100 property owners and businesses about um, 250 businesses. We have so many restaurants. I thought, how many countries do we have? And I counted 18 countries at one time. We have Indian, we have, oh, everything. That's quite amazing. That's pretty unique, too, of having that many different mm -hmm. um, countries in, in uh, 17 blocks or so, right? We have the restaurants, and we have um, similar shops to what you would be um, what you would see, I think, if you were to go, um, we have the produce stores, you know, we have your bakery. It's the whole um, idea of the BIA is to help all these businesses think outside of their four walls to make it inviting to bring people into that area. And what the BIA um, mandate is, is to um, promote, enhance, support, and improve the vitality and economic sustainability of the calling the BIA area. And we do this through different um, programs. So see, Calling Days is so multicultural. Calling Days, the tagline when we also were putting it together was because we wanted to have that old-fashioned fair where you have um, games to play, rides to do, things to see. So it's the old-fashioned fair with a multicultural flair. All the entertainment is local and, and international. It's a showcase for our area. The vendors that we have, we call the um, area an international marketplace. The businesses and the community work so well together and the community here, the business community and the residents are very diverse. It's not part of our job to bring the two together. Like if we don't have the residents and the patrons, then the businesses do not have mm -hmm. business, right? So we have to create the um, opportunities for the two, you know, everybody to get together. We see that in all facets of Collingwood. It's very nice. We're very helpful to each other, and that's what makes us strong. And other communities are seeing that. They're like, "Whoa, you guys have something very special and unique." I believe strongly on nurturing and, and educating youth to become good community leaders, mm -hmm. business-minded um, students, so they have an idea of what the world is like when they get out of high school. The Junior BI is very also reflective of our um, community. Um, we, have, we have Chinese and Filipino and uh -huh. um, Korean, um, Indo-Canadians. Yeah, it's very um, multicultural. It just is important. They live here, you know, and hopefully one day they'll have a business here or at least have an idea um, of what BIAs do. I think if we all grow together then in, into a... Um, a direction that everybody is happy with and it'll always be that way. You want to stay. Why would you not want to stay? You want to see what's happening next, right? Mm -hmm. area. It works because everybody works together. Mm -hmm. I think that is the key to Collingwood itself. Multiculturalism is right in there um, and all of our all of our events, but again, not contrived. It's already here. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's mm -hmm. it's it's very um, authentic I guess is what it is. It's mm -hmm. it's definitely practiced and mm -hmm. it's our living. Interculturalism is what weaves our community's fabric. It's not patchworked, but a tapestry of beautiful, warm colors.